Hey you folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld Alpha 14 Extreme Difficulty Extreme Desert. Extremely rough. People are pissed, people are fighting, people are missing arms. But we're planting some plants, and hopefully that'll help. If we can ever recruit Lyra, that's going to be fantastic, but the percentage chance has been really bad. Hopefully by making her room a little bit better and just consistently keeping her mood higher would be nice. But there's no, like, talked to by Warden modifier getting built up anymore. Maybe that's just not a thing anymore, which is too bad. Yeah, but beauty's pretty high. Comfort's good, so really good bed. Space isn't fantastic, especially with all this extra stuff. I suppose we could extend the, the prisoner room. Make it a really luxurious suite. Would not be a terrible idea. And then Arbez is going to view some art over here, which is kind of interesting. It honestly may not be a bad idea to do that. Or, these are 6x6 six six bedrooms. We can make a 7x7, seven seven, perhaps, or even an 8x8 for our prisoners and give them a, just a redonkulous amount of space. Uh, because again, we want to convince them that this colony is the best and they should totally join us. Got some more food being harvested there by Nikki. Kravex mostly just doing some hauling, which is going to be fantastic and cool. We planted some more heel roots, which is great. All these bodies have decayed, which is fine. And you're going to haul some wood to the stockpile, which I like. Can't complain about any of that. We got guns. Oh my god, even cleaning up out here now. Holy cow. Although... Deadmate's currently on cleaning. I'm going to encourage Deadmate to come over here and clean up her own blood, apparently. And then she should keep cleaning in the nearby vicinity over here, which would be much, much better. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, do that. Wonderful, because these are all places that actually affect people's moods a lot more regularly. So that means I guess we must be out of bug meat. Yeah, we've got one unit. One unit of bug meat over there. So, no more fine meals. Um, she may still make some simple meals from time to time, if people are eating that, because apparently bug parts taste disgusting. Which is sort of, I don't know. Well, this is slimy and gray, so I guess these are not like oversized lobsters. 1% recruitment chance. Why the hell? God damn. Well, hopefully 15 hours. Alright, so that'll get rid of one more debuff from everyone, which will be really handy. And yeah, your space is pretty poor. Once this room gets cleaned, I think what I will do is mine out this area. And it's being cleaned now, so you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, order mine. Do do do. Master Oink, I can hear him. Oh, stone cutting, actually. I'm going to get you to mine out this area over here. And we're going to extend this room. And make sure to smooth this floor here for maximum beauty. And then what we'll do is we'll rebuild that wall later on. Yeah, I guess we don't actually have to literally mine all of it. How's that do for your space? Mmm, it's not that spacious, probably because there's still a lot of stuff in the way. But if we keep getting rid of these walls, it's going to help. Master Wink, why don't you prioritize mine in the sandstone, actually? And that. And some more. And when we rebuild this with an actual wall, it's also going to be nice because the natural stone actually um, takes away from beauty. A carved wall doesn't add to it, but it, um, it helps to minimize ugliness. I don't think we've got anywhere to haul this to right now. And that does bring down beauty by quite a bit. Chronic, like if I right click here, yeah, no place to store it because we're literally out of room. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this stockpile, copy the settings, make a new dumping stockpile zone over here, and paste the settings. And, I mean, we don't have a hauler available right now, but we're going to manually haul away these two chunks. We'll also de tell Deadmate to come and clean up over here. Lyra, how are you feeling? Is this an improvement or a decay? I mean, beauty's pretty low because of the crap that's in a way. I will agree to that. But otherwise, it should be okay. There's a lot of crappy floors, too. And of course, you're hanging out in the ugliest part of the room. So you're happiest about the space when you're in the middle. When you're closer to an edge, you feel a little bit more crowded. Which is kind of frustrating. So yeah, a square room is better. But again, at some point, we would want it to do this regardless. So that's going to be okay. Once the floor gets smoothed out over here, once we haul these two bits out and clean it up, it should be a net win 
for a prisoner and try to keep uh, him, actually. I keep thinking it's a her. I think it's because of the hair and the name that ends in an A, right? That sort of thing. So, it's throwing me off. Kravak, you were meditating. I would prefer, actually, if you hauled out that chunk. And Deadmate, could you come and clean a little bit over here? And you're probably going to go and do something else after, so... Clean. Clean. Clean some more. Uh, oh, that's smoothing. And Kravak, please haul that. Okay, good. And the floors are going to get smoothed on their own. So that should be okay. <clears throat> it looks like there's still debris there. But I guess not. I don't know. So there's going to be some disturbed sleep over here, which isn't going to make her particularly happy. Urgently hungry. Indeed, that is very true. Playing chess. Could you... Oh, no. Someone's bringing you some food already. Good. It may or may not contain bug parts. No, it's dromedary meat. Excellent. So you have some food when you wake up. Finish smoothing that out. I think we'll be okay. Still don't quite have our statue. Almost done our geothermal. And then, yeah, what I'll do is I'll research the Autodors, because that will be really fast to research, and actually will be very helpful for the colony. And then after that, you bet your bottom dollar. I, I don't even know what... I guess that means your last dollar. So, like, literally the last thing you own, feel free to bet on this, that I will be researching prosthetic parts. We're going to start working up the way up that tree, but I'll probably go ahead and install the ar the prosthetic arms on Arbez right away, and then we can put him on research duty, move Rexar over to art duty, and I'm just going to keep saying duty because it's funny and I'm a two-year-old, and we'll move on from there. So we're planting some plants. Daily is here, hopefully improving the look of things. We've got to get a lot more of that going on in general. Just keep the beauty marks. The beauty marks? Yeah. Sure, why not? Um, as high as possible. Actually... It's probably, because this doesn't really cost us too much, we're going to put a plant right next to Rexar. So he'll have a little plant, or whoever's researching will have a little plant to keep them entertained over here. We do a similar thing with the cooking. Geothermal, done! Wonderful. So auto doors into prosthetics is going to be the plan. And if we do get one geothermal hooked up, that's going to be all the power that we need for a very, very long time. Takes a fair deal of material, but we actually have all that steel. It's not part of our stockpiles right now, so it's a little deceptive, but we do have it. Uh, what do I want to run for the power? I mean, the shortest power run would just be doing this, and I guess that's fine for now. We're not, we shouldn't be cutting off any plants. I'm going to go a little further away from the edge there because that some of that might be fertile land that we might want to plant, and we have to disturb the plants to um, to run the power lines. May as well keep getting some steel when we can. Keep Master Oink busy doing the mining. And yeah, run that there. Get maximum power. I'm not even feeling the need to enclose this one because it is in an enclosed area. So it's nice and secured as is, which is going to be great. Be a little bit better for maintenance and whatnot. We don't have to worry. There's no grass around that's going to catch on fire because normally I put down some concrete on the, on the ground here to make sure there's nothing flammable right next door, but there's no way for fire to spread to this. Hey, one of the advantages of being in a, de in a desert. So we're going to finish that quite quickly, in fact, although obviously it went until we get the power going. It's nice to actually have the steel there. That's why it got built so fast. Um, we've got to get all that to get the steel working, or to get the power hooked up, and that'll be good. We don't have a power shortage right now, but as we get auto doors going on, they do soak a fair amount of electricity. So it's going to be nice to get this going fast. And with everyone set to construction, this will be good quickly. Some construction failed, but you know what? It's a good chance to get a little bit of training since these are not things where the skill of the construction matters in any way whatsoever. Pups walking around, just wandering. Okay, that's fine. Nikki visiting a grave. That's okay. You could use a little bit of comfort. Replanting some stuff. Can't complain about that. We do have to haul this food inside, but not the end of the world. And Rexar should research these auto doors quite quickly. And then we go and replace quite a few things with auto doors. Oh no! Toxic fallout! Everyone's going to start getting sick, and it's going to kill our plants. Luckily, we have a fair amount of food in storage as is, including cooked meals, so we're not going to starve to death. Um, that's done, so you're hooked up to the power grid. Lovely. 
So what I need to do is I need to encourage everyone to stay indoors as much as possible. Now, they can... Doesn't kill them instantly to go outdoors. Uh, rename. Indoors. I mean, I guess no, area one's not exactly the same as indoors. So we'll do that. Make the indoors area. Um, we just well, you need to make sure that they don't spend excessive amounts of time outdoors, or what will happen is they will get. I mean, they're going to get sick from the toxic fallout, um, which has, uh, which makes them unhappy, can make them throw up and whatnot. But actually, if you get to, is it moderate levels? I think if it hits moderate, and especially if it starts to hit severe, there's a chance of actually developing dementia, like permanently. It will permanently just F up your brain um, and can cause you to collapse on the ground and have to be rescued and all kinds of things like that. So that's indoors. Important thing to remember with the zones here is that um, people will walk outside of an allowed area to get to another allowed area. So by doing this, for example, People will walk through this area to get from one to the other. They won't do any work in between, which actually is a problem for the hauling, but I'm going to go ahead and get all this flagged for this because we're probably going to expand this. It's a good time to build the dining room and all that. Um, so we need to prioritize hauling in the potatoes that are outside. Nikki Quartz, could you... No place to store it. Really? Oh, this is... God damn it. This should not be storing weapons. Get rid of that. So people will haul the weapons from one place to the other. And leather? I guess the leather is okay-ish. Yeah, it should all be hauled into here. I guess this is a high priority storage area. What else? Okay, Mum Chunks, Corpses, Items? Art for no, no, don't don't do any of that. Raw resources. No. None of that. Manufactured. Medicine's fine, but none of the others. And don't allow rotten. Not that I think it matters at that point. Huh. Okay, so we'll have to get that done. So toxic fallout could last a long time. It's the 12th of spring right now, so I guess it hit us on the 11th of spring. And there's an eclipse. That's fine. So we don't get any solar power. But it's not like it stopped all power, so we're still okay there. Lyra, how you doing? space no more execution stuff pleasant environment feeling great so hopefully this is going to help convince you to join our group we're gonna do some cleaning in here say so we got lots we can still do i mean there's lots i prefer to do outdoors but there's still plenty we can do indoors and i guess what i'll do is i will designate some mining in here um i really to a certain extent we want to mine out this whole area now this could lead to i think to collapses, so we're going to want to leave some pillars. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to mark everything to be mined. And then I will unmark some stuff. So, even, like, all the way back to here is fine. Like that, and I will cancel this. That way this will stay nice and or indoors. And I'm just going to leave up a couple of posts here. Like this. Token pillars. It's probably way more than we need. Token pillars to prevent any sort of collapse. And then I'm going to build up pretty walls inside. Organize the dining room. It's going to be great. It's going to be great, you guys. Um, so I think it's time to actually restrict them to indoors. I still want to collect these potatoes. That's the reason I hadn't done it instantly. But we have to wait for our storage situation to improve itself first, so... Well, I guess what I can do, storage is normal, and over here, it's normal. Okay, so no, I do want this to be preferred storage for food, but I can I can allow foods to be stored here. Um, items, no. Resources, food. So I can allow food to get stored here. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell Kravec, I'm going to unrestrict you, and I'm going to tell you to haul potatoes. Good stuff. And haul some more. How's your health? Yeah, you're fine. And then haul some more. That's your priority, is to get all the potatoes indoors. I don't think the toxic fallout affects food that 
has been collected from the vines. I think it only kills active plants, but of course, any food left outside will eventually rot. So we want to bring that in. So that's going to really uh, interfere with our, our heal root, unfortunately. That's all going to die. I don't remember if trees die. It's not growing right now, but there is an eclipse, so it's a little bit confusing. If we do want any steel, we may have to also um, unforbid someone. But I could leave Kravek um yeah, and only Kravik. I was going to say, Nikki's also a hauler. I could leave them unrestricted until they get, you know, moderate illness. But Nikki is very, very... Everyone's going to get a little bit of illness walking through this area. Now, I could go and enclose this in and roof it off and then move the plants or something like that. But I'd like to avoid it. So everyone's going to get a little bit of outdoor access all the time. Alright, Kravik, you are now restricted indoors as well. I have to move the chest table and everything at some point, but we'll get there. And we don't have any indoor storage for the rocks, so they're sort of kind of going to be stuck there, but that's that's okay. It's probably counting as disturbed sleep over here. Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't wake you up. Really would be nice if people stopped going to people's rooms, though. Like, I need, I need to undesignate something as art. This is no longer art. You're not allowed to stare at these beds anymore, or these chairs. That's actually, yeah. Why can't we do that? It's like in Dwarf Fortress, you can designate an area as a garden, for example. It'd be nice to be able to do, like, an explicit art spot. I think I'm going to reset it, because this one is actually new. That hadn't been flagged yet. Oh, the dog! The dog, the dog, the dog, the dog, the dog, the dog. Be restricted to animal area one, please. Otherwise, you are going to... You're still fine. So no one's got any toxic fallout sickness yet. Toxic buildup initial, there we go. So we got a little bit of it. Doesn't affect them too much. Their their consciousness goes down just a scooch. It goes initial to I think mild to moderate. I think at moderate there starts to become a chance of getting the dementia. And then once you hit severe, there's a good chance you'll just pass out outside. So deadmate is now idle. So deadmate has nothing to clean. And the research bench is currently busy. I'm not gonna get you to start arting or anything like that. Hmm. I'm actually surprised. I was going to say, there's stuff to clean. We could also take this opportunity, actually, to smooth a bunch of floor. Uh, oh, you know what I should do, too, is... No, mining's on for all these people. I could make mining a higher priority, but it doesn't seem very helpful. There's still some co some meals to cook. Um, we'll have to organize the refrigeration as well at some point and figure out where we want things to be. Because there's no reason... I, I might keep this to be the cooked meal spot, for example. That might be a really good idea. Although, we don't want the stove to actually be where the raw food is, because it's ugly. We want the sto stove to be in the room with the cooked meals. Yeah, there's going to be a fair amount of restructuring. I might keep the air conditioning here and just, like, make it not be a freezer. Oh my god, we recruited someone! We finally recruited Lyra! Oh my god, that is great news. I mean, kind of a shitty time to join the colony, but am I ever happy that you are here? Woo, woo, woo. Actually, let me do... Um, let me just do a little save here before we get a weird crash or anything like that. When I add mods, I'm always worried there's going to be more crashes because certainly we've seen that in the past. There's my subscriber list. We've seen that in the past, So, and I don't want to lose a Lyra being a freaking colonist here. Da da da. Maybe not as bad as losing a wedding, but it's still not great. Okay, you are going to be renamed. This is a great name. I love it. I love it. You are now... Zany Norwegian. Welcome to the party, Zany Norwegian. So let's go and change your restrictions over here and there, for one. Um, what's your traits again? I don't remember. Nervous, pretty green thumb. Yeah, nervous does mean you have a higher break, break threshold. Not as bad as Nikki Quartz, but it's still not great. Um, I will compensate for that by giving you some enforced fun. Maybe just once. There we go. Before bed, we'll make sure that you get some fun in. That's going to be good. And actually, I think that'll be sufficient for Nikki as well, which will interfere with her work a little bit less. Firefight. Patient. Doctor, yeah. I mean, we may toggle that when it comes time to doing surgery. This is one case where the extended uh, work mod would be good, because actually it would be nice to make Zany Norwegian be doctor mode on, but not do serious stuff. I'll turn you off for now, but it'll be nice to have as a backup. 
how's your animal handling? Not terrible, but you know, we'll leave that off for now. Growing's pretty good. Your smithing and crafting is actually quite nice. We're going to put hauling and cleaning up higher. Actually, I'll put them maybe at a two. Doesn't really make a difference in this case. And technically, you can research. So, yeah, if you fill in these, that's not going to be too bad. you got really a lot of passion for art as well. So, Zany Norwegian, I think, is going to be a great crafter force in the future. Although, honestly, since she, or he, I keep saying she, I think, it's because of, it's because of the hair. Um, because he can haul and clean, there's a good chance he's actually going to be stuck doing that quite often. Well, I think he had a move command out here before he realized that I'd restricted things. So, right now, he's just moving, viewing art. You're not actually working. Are you idle? No. Wandering. Oh, it might just be his designated uh, fun time. I think it is, actually. Do a little bit of cleaning. Auto doors, done. Good. So next up, I mean, there's lots of stuff that we want. Moisture pump. Turn, turn wet ground dry. Wait. Oh, oh, does it reclaim land? It turns wet ground dry. We want it to go the other way around. But simple prosthetics. Go. We need to get some arms going on again. And eventually, bionic eyes would be fantastic as well. So again, I'll set this to be hauled, but I don't think there's any way to haul this yet. But that's that's going to be okay for now. Um, Zany Norwegian, I'm also going to enable mining. It'll be a low-priority thing. But if you're not doing any of these other things, mining would also be quite nice. And we need to sort out the bedroom situation, because I don't think you've got your own, actually. Tell you what, I'll give you this room for now. Why are you wandering? Resting. Okay, so I guess it's sleep periods, that's fine. Maybe you didn't have a bed and you weren't desperate enough yet. So, structure. Sandstone walls. Boom. Get these bedrooms reorganized once again. And then, yeah, we'll definitely want some prisoners. Now, I think over here, these are 7x7 seven seven rooms that we'll eventually get. It's quite far down to put the prisoners, especially since they need a lot of people, like, visiting them. But we don't have to put things there, but it's not bad. These rooms could be combined to uh, become larger rooms, although I think, generally speaking, the square, the shape, the better it'll be for space. Eh, it may not matter. It's more important for the prisoner rooms. Not to mention the hospitals. That's actually something I can do with the double area over here. Nah, I don't know. Individual hospital rooms are also fine, and may be preferable. So these can still be hospital rooms, or... Hospital and prisoner rooms. Biggest size. People who are in the worst shape. And the... Sorry. Some, oh, the eclipse ended! Forgot that there was an eclipse. I'm like, did the toxic fallout end? No, it didn't. What's going on? So, the freezer here is... Rightfully, having a very hard time maintaining the temperature of such a large room. So this stuff is cooled, but not frozen, so it can start to spoil. Still need the dining room. I mean, maybe I should have focused the mining a little bit differently, but I don't know, it's not too bad. A little bit of cleaning there, very nice. Let's do a pass through everyone's health. Oh, yeah, okay. Even with passing in and out, that they're not actually getting any appreciable toxic buildup, which is nice to see. How's your health? No injuries. 30 years old. Really good. Need to get some tailoring and stuff set up soon. We've got a little bit of fur and some cloth from our harvesting, so yeah, it would be kind of nice. Production. We've got the sculptor's table and electric tailoring bench. We should have the electricity for that, so we'll get that down. Basic prosthetics workbench. Oh! So what are we researching then? Oh, going from basic to simple. Doesn't look like it unlocks a new building. So, I think this lets us build peg legs as is. I'll go ahead and put this down here. And wooden dining chairs. I think it was there. And there. I, it's possible the tech level is actually going to unlock a building. But I suspect it's mostly just going to give us more options here for prosthetics above peg legs. But we'll revisit it then. Now, we don't actually have the wood indoors. Well, we have some. And we've got some over here. I don't know if they can grab the steel from there. But I guess we've got steel in the base. So, I think the construction will technically work out. 
Uh, although I just realized that I'm trying to build chairs with people who may not be as skilled as we would like. I really want Nikki to be doing that. The prosthetic workbench, really, anyone can build. But the chairs, I want them to be super high quality, so... So Deadmate started, Nikki's finishing it, and it's coming out good quality. Alright, I'm gonna call that good enough. You're gonna clean a little bit of dirt. Just one, and then go into digging, so that's not very efficient. So, yeah, I think what I'll do... Because I don't want them to walk across to clean one thing. So I'm going to lower the cleaning priority for a little while. We'll wait for it to get dirty, and then we'll just go out and do, like, a bunch of mass cleaning. Same thing, similarly to the cooking. I don't like it when they run across the map to cook one meal and then run back to some other job. It's just not very time efficient. So it won't be pretty in here with all the rocks, and, yeah, the air conditioner is definitely going to be a problem. But, again, the food is okay for now. Eh, it's getting tight. <sighs> what do I want to do? I think I'm going to want this space to work in. I think it'll just make much more sense. And we could keep the cooked meals over there. But I want the travel time from the raw food storage to the um, cooked food storage or the workplace to be relatively minimal. And I also want airlocks. Although, now that we've got auto door tech, that's going to improve a lot. So, okay, here's what I'm going to consider. We're going to... Sandstone wall, sort of like this. Auto doors. These will just be fast auto doors. So say wooden auto door, wooden auto door. We'll just have like a four-way airlock over here. That's going to be okay. Something like this. And like this. So this will be like raw food. This will be cooked food. Or, you know, we might be okay. No, I'm going to have to move these benches regardless, so that's going to be fine. Uh, we'll need to bring some power further in here, so say up the walls over here. Um, we will need a temperature thing over there regardless, so a cooler that goes that way. And then, yeah, the cook table will have to move. So I'm going to deconstruct you. This is a good stool, so we're going to keep you. I'm going to put you there, and then move the production electric stove to over there and the butcher's table will likewise go indoors over here and it will be in this room over here because butchering actually doesn't take that much time food binge Nikki quartz okay well sure you do that all right we're gonna go ahead and put a cut in this video thank you very much for watching folks and i'll see you guys next time